There are a ton of like cognitive, social, and emotional side effects of what happens from play deprivation. And I'll just list off a couple here that I have that these are some of the, the top ones, but there's an inability. So think about, you know, your own life, people who refuse to play, people who don't play, people who put off play, right? Okay. So there is an inability to cope with aggression from others, slower learning capabilities, increase in anxiety behaviors during problem solving, an increase in depression and learn the helplessness during physical challenges. And the, the real one that just kills me is a struggle to differentiate between a friend and a foe. Mm, that, interesting. That's what happens when rats don't play at this very critical point in their life. And so it play is you know, thought to have some kind of benefit to building emotional resilience, problem solving capabilities, and the understanding of one's identity in a place in social circles. And so when we don't play, we have, it's a, it's a real detriment to us. It's a, it's a, it's a real need that we have. We are built to do it. We, we want to do it. No one has to beg you to play unless you are a workaholic, right? And then you are in this mode of, I have to keep going. I have to keep going. I have to keep going. And play is essential for that regulation.